All right, we're here with Nicholas Edward Williams, hometown boy yep. from Jacksonville. Uh, got a lot to talk about. You're pretty busy right now. You're coming through for a nearly sold out show at Blue Jay. Probably yes. will be a sellout tonight. Yes. Um, and you're starting a tour, correct? Or you already started the yeah, tour? Yeah, I started the tour on Wednesday. Um, this is the Ramblin' Tour, which is the like pre-promotion for the new album. Yeah, and the new album, you uh, we were talking earlier, you're recording. Uh, why don't you talk about uh, the process? And Yeah, um, so I'm recording it in um, Springdale, Arkansas, at an awesome studio called Red Barn Studios. Um, who's kind of famous for doing videos with like Gillian Welch and um, Gregory Allen Isaacoff and all these really cool people in the Roots music scene. Um, and I'm doing that at the end of this month. And then, um, and it's going to be pretty stripped down of just me, fiddle, upright bass, and pedal steel. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and um, that kind of brings me to a question about kind of the new direction of your music. You've been writing songs under the moniker Weatherman for... 12 years, 12 years, yeah. eight albums or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and then this transition, now you're going by Nicholas Edward Williams, which is your actual name. Um, what was the thinking behind the decision to start working under that name and kind of leave the weatherman thing behind? Um, you know, it's kind of a, a slow rolling, um, I guess, decision for me. I, over the last couple of years, I was getting a little bit less and less stoked about, um, the direction that the music was going and I was like I was comfortable putting the songs up but then um, in 2017 I really had this kind of um, this big moment in my personal life where I just realized I needed to stop touring for a bit I've been doing it consistently you know 10 11 months out of the year for about six years yeah and I never really gave myself a break and it all caught up with me and um, so I ended up moving to Costa Rica and, and when I was there I was writing some new songs and the thought of putting out a ninth Weatherman album was just like not exciting at all. Yeah. And the thought of doing a new project under my own name was extremely exciting. So like the same thing, just a different project. And that told me that maybe it was time to move on. And also like noticeably the music was a bit different than the last stuff, you know, it was more of like Weatherman was more folk soul and um, kind of centered around the guitar and vocals, but also had this really beautiful band that backed me um, that brought it to this whole other level. And, I'm really, really proud of all the work that happened there, but I could just tell in, inwardly and musically that it was shifting, and I yeah. needed to do something about that. Yeah, and I think evidence of that, um, at least the new direction with this new name, like we heard uh, a song that you'll be releasing in April. By the time this comes out, you know, it will have been out. Right. But uh, So Happy Life was uh, one of the songs you played, and um, there's some really tasteful Doc Watson-style picking in there, um, uh, also some incredible whistling thanks <laughs> <laughs> um so uh, you know like i said this indi indi uh sort of indicates this new direction of your music and um but i think also like the, the listening to the lyrics they're also like playful introspective yeah. like still like I, I heard a lot of that in your weatherman stuff as well so is it just a sonic direction or do you feel like you're intentionally like if is it a whole new kind of idea are you thinking of it as a whole new like music identity yeah i think i am um you know the vocals are like kind of culturally changing slightly i think that's they're they're the most similar thing mm -hmm. and then lyrically yeah I, I i want the same moral standards to hold you know that's sure. like my thing is like growing as a human being and taking the lessons that i'm learning in my own life and putting them into songs but this is more of like how can i translate these into more of a humorous um, standpoint instead of so serious. A, a lot of the Weatherman stuff became so heavy for me and they were written at specific times in my life that were heavy and then yeah. not being so heavy anymore and things being really good in my life and um, it just kind of like also made me shift in writing. So, and then my love for like people like John Prine and, um, and that sort of thing really like just transformed the way that I was doing things. And so yeah, I think there is like an, an overall shift and I'm sure some people will listen to it and be like, oh, sound, this still sounds like Weatherman, you know, but um, to me, it's just, it's an identity shift as well. It's just like branching off of that and, and starting something kind of new. For yeah. Me. 
Well, sweet. I, I can tell you're excited about the new yeah. stuff. What's the new album going to be called? It's called As I Go Rambling Around. As I Go Rambling Around. Release date? June 23rd. June 23rd. So depending on when this comes out, that may be out by now. But yeah. f- uh, follow Nicholas Edward Williams Do on that. Instagram now. Yep. It's just your <laughs> full name. Maybe the longest Instagram handle right. of any <laughs> artist we've had in the office yet. But um, we're excited about the new stuff. And congrats to you. And um, Have a good show tonight. Thanks, brother. All Appreciate right. you. Yeah.